Let's talk about why the twin flame journey is so hard. A lot of us have had this question, especially first coming into this journey, and I have found that there are three reasons that complicate the twin flame journey and make it much harder than it needs to be, and I will be sharing those reasons and their solutions today with you. So, reason number one why your twin flame journey is so hard is because your focus is on the wrong thing. So, most of us, if not all of us, have grown up with a certain mold of how a relationship should be. And that is based on soulmate dynamics. It's not based on twin flame dynamics. So, when we meet our twin flame, it's so confusing to see that they're acting in this way. And it's so frustrating because no dating advice applies here. It's like, okay, what do I do here? This is crazy. And that can make the twin flame journey feel so hard. So the soulmate dating advice is all about focusing on the outside, what your twin flame is doing, right? He's behaving in this way, so I must act in that way to make him want me. That is the whole thing. Like, don't reply super soon to his texts, or don't show enough interest until it's been a few dates, things like that, those dating rules, that they don't really apply to your twin flame, because, you know, you're one being at the core, so they are you, so Playing games with them doesn't work very well. But the underlying core of all this is that there is a focus on the other person. On the twin flame journey, the focus cannot be on any other person. It can't be even on your twin flame. It must be focused on you. That is the main focus. You and your relationship with your creator. If you are focused on your twin flame while on this journey, you will find it very frustrating and very confusing and very difficult. But if you're focusing on yourself and your relationship with the divine, you will notice that everything flows, everything feels harmonious, it's easy, it's smooth, and it's even fun sometimes, you know? Because you're discovering yourself, you're building a relationship with the divine, and it's a fun time, you know? Instead of, you know, focusing on, oh, my twin flame is with another person, or, oh, my twin flame is not talking to me again. So the way you can shift the focus back on yourself is by making the choice to focus on your healing and that is very important on this journey because that's how you get results so if you're unsure how to prioritize yourself how to heal any patterns that unconsciously make you focus too much on your twin flame while forgetting about yourself then i've got some resources for you down in the description box try out the mirror exercise which is a great healing tool i also have this beautiful free introductory twin flame course that is so rich and so helpful when it comes to resolving some of the very common things uh, and blocks between twin flames. And if you would like even more personalized support, then fill out the free consultation form that I have again in the description box and let's talk about your twin flame journey and what steps you can take so as to manifest your harmonious twin flame union. So, reason number two why your twin flame journey feels so hard is that you're not receiving any support for it. And humans weren't made to be just islands, you know? We are meant to be in communities and we heal very well in group settings while we are with other people. And of course, if you're around the wrong people or people that don't understand you, it doesn't feel very good and it's not very productive to your healing. Now, I'm not saying, you know, cut off any person that is not on their twin flame journey. I'm not saying this at all. If a relationship is loving and supportive to you, whether that person is actively on their twin flame journey or not, then you should definitely keep that relationship. However, when it comes to talking about specifically Twin Flame topics, you will find it much more beneficial to join a Twin Flame community instead and talk about it with other people that understand it from personal experience. Because this journey is one of those things that you don't really get until you have been in it. And if you would like to find one such community, again, I have the Facebook group linked in the description, Twin Flames Universe Open Forum. It's a really nice place. I also hang out in there quite a bit, so yeah, I really enjoy this group. And you know, having a supportive Twin Flame community can be very helpful. I personally cannot imagine how I would be in Union now if I didn't have that in my life. It's been such a huge blessing because you're surrounded by like-minded people that know what you're going through. They're not going to judge you and they're going to give you really good, solid advice instead of, you know, bad advice because you're all in this together. So yeah, if you find yourself feeling very lonely or like you would need to talk about your Twin Flame journey, definitely join a Twin Flame community and um, you'll notice the difference right away. And finally, reason number three why your Twin Flame journey feels so hard is 
prioritizing the outside over the inside. That is another symptom of um, soulmate dating culture, because it's all about the outside with a soulmate, right? The romance builds on the outside and then maybe you receive it on the inside, but it's mostly out there. With your twin flame, it's the exact opposite. First, you build the romance within yourself and then it manifests on the outside. And also when it comes to anything with your twin flame, so your twin flame not talking to you, you first build this communication within yourself and then it manifests between you and your twin flame. Same with your union. You first come to union within yourself, within your heart, and then it can manifest on the outside because you've given that to yourself and now you can manifest it also on the outside and no one can take this from you because you have it within. So if you notice that you've been taking a lot of action with your twin flame, like, uh, I don't know, messaging them a lot, but they're not responding and something feels off, then that's a good sign that you're putting too much emphasis on what's going on out there instead of what's going on within you. And again, that's why I spoke in the beginning about doing your healing work. That's so important. Because the correct order on a twin flame journey is that uh, you heal whatever blocks arise and then the result comes to you. And of course, you can use the outside as a perfect mirror of what's going on in your consciousness. And in fact, I actively encourage that because, you know, that's how you know that you have a block. If nothing is moving in that area and you feel bad about it, find out why you feel bad about it. How do you feel about it? Resolve it with a mirror exercise. And that makes your twin flame journey like a thousand times easier, a million times easier. I could not recommend it enough. Just sitting down, doing your inner work one evening and then, you know, the next day everything is flowing. Because it's never something on the outside that is stopping your union. It's always a block in your consciousness. And that's why you have so much power on this journey. It's all in your hands. If you choose to move forward, if you choose to have union, that's how you claim it. You claim it on the inside first. Because you can't really do it on the outside. You can't force your twin flame to love you. That's not how you do that. But you can fall in love with yourself. And your twin flame will mirror that to you because they're your perfect mirror. So when you choose to prioritize your healing work over just taking action blindly, then that's how you'll notice a huge shift in your twin flame journey. So this was today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.